after Joel revealed that you were being sent home, you called ter out Teresa for lying to your face and called her stupid while she said she was just being loyal to Larsa because she knew her first. Looking back now, do you stand by what you said at the time? And do you feel that she betrayed you? I do stand by what I said, and I do feel she betrayed me. I wish they showed the clip where she seriously was like, I promise you, I give you my word. Um, so like, that's where I felt so betrayed is because I felt like super gaslit that she said she never said that. And I was like, really hoping that they showed it on tape. I definitely think um, Teresa betrayed me in that situation. Um, but that's just life sometimes like you can accept that humans have different definitions of the word loyalty like loyalty to me doesn't mean who did you know first loyalty to me is like when you give someone your word you keep your word um so I, I mean just yeah I think she betrayed me but she doesn't think she betrayed me so you can still reach a resolution you don't have to hold on to it new york was the only person who voted for you to stay and praised your performance in the competition how did it feel to have her support it felt so good to have new york support i would have been like so devastated to be like completely ostracized i mean i understand it's a gameplay and this or that but like the fact that i was fighting with larsa and then i felt like she had everyone I felt Larsa turned the house against me. So to have New York still have my back, like, really meant the world. It goes without saying that you and Larsa did not get along in House of Villains. What do you think was the core issue of why you two have beef, had beef? And would you have any desire to hash out your issues in the future? Yeah, I think her and I did come to a resolution. You might see later in the show, even though I'm sent home, the show's not over yet. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah, her and I, um, I think had a resolution, but I think sometimes in life, if you're like fundamentally different, not everyone always gets along and that's okay. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad that you guys had some sort of resolution and we look forward to seeing that. Um, yeah. So you once said in the past that being on The Bachelor was the worst experience of your life. How would you compare House of Villains to your time on The Bachelor and Bachelor Paradise? Well, I was thinking about that. Like after I said it, I should be more grateful. The Bachelor was a great experience. Um, I just had never experienced such a magnitude of hate. And I think that's what I was saying was the worst experience. But I loved filming and that part. Um, and how would I compare it? Super different because I felt like mm, Bachelor is a little bit more competitive. I mean, House really? of Villains. Yeah, House of Villains is competitive, but like Bachelor, I personally really felt like I don't know who to trust. Whereas in House of Villains, like I formed certain alliances and like you're working together in a way, whereas Bachelor, it's like you're out for yourself, which I guess I should have been out for myself more in House of Villains. I don't know. <laughs> Do you think that it's like that way or you say it's like that because Bachelor has to do with like finding a love, like a fighting for one man, whereas House of Villains is everyone just like it's it is a co true competition. Do you think it's the fact that Bachelor is about is a dating show? makes the competition like makes it a competition makes it more um intense yeah. well and there's I mean there's only one winner in both but I don't know how to explain it just is so different yeah it's more intense because it's like you're trying to find your husband so yeah. I think and a husband is worth more than 200k anyway so that's like a better prize to fight right. for right who from Bachelor Nation do you think would make a good villain and would do well on the show? Um, trying to think. I love Maria, and she kind of made herself a villain after filming. Yes. So I don't know if she would do well on this show, but I would love to watch her. Were you surprised that, I know you were seemed kind of surprised that Teresa voted against you, but were you surprised that New York was the only one who voted for you to stay? Yeah, so when Joel turned around the thing, I think you even see me smiling because he was like, the votes are four to one. And I was like, yes, I got my 
in my head. I got my four, Larsa got Safari. That's it. Like I was like, I was so shocked. Like I was heartbroken. Like I was like devastated all the things. And that's why I even said, like, you guys are such good liars because all day long they were telling me like, we're saving you this or this. And yeah, it was such a betrayal because they all lied to my face. (laughs) Watching it back. Were you, I don't know if this, I mean, technically this is how it turned out to be, but I don't know if that actually played into the ultimate view process, but um, voting process, but what was your reaction when you found out that a lot of them were like, oh, I'm just going to do what Teresa does. I'm just going to vote how Teresa votes. Yeah, they were saying that during the day. I think that was yeah. bullshit and a cop out. Like, I don't think that was really anything. Um, it was kind of disheartening to know that Larsa was like more persuasive in getting them. Cause even I know Teresa, I lived with her. So like a hundred percent Larsa was in her head saying like, Oh, the Bravo family, this. And that's why on my exit, I called her stupid, which I shouldn't have name called, but, um, I think, I don't know. Like, that's just how I felt at the moment. What will you ultimately take away from your experience on house of villains? Um, I don't know. What would I take away from my experience? Well, I I want to take away from my experience to like, know that not everyone is as pure intended as you think. But some people are like, so watching back, like seeing how nice Teresa was when I wasn't there, that like, made me happy. But then seeing Larsa talk all this shit about me, I knew deep down. So I guess I'm taking away from the competition to follow my intuition and to be more strategic next show I do. This is okay. So I have this is such a random thing that happened in the episode, but it was so funny. I have to ask you about that Mother Teresa skit, the mini music. That was so funny. The mini music video. I was like, what is happening? How come about and take us through filming that? Because that was just so funny. That was so funny. Um that was right before I went home. And yeah, I guess it was just like B-roll. Sometimes we film, like even throughout the episodes, like when Lars was like, she has thousand dollar glasses on. And then I'm like, <laughs> so they just have us film B-roll and then they put it in as they want. But I was dying watching that with Safari and the toilet paper. It was so funny. It was so funny. And the music and then, and Teresa had like the full on like, awesome. yeah, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Are you in touch with anyone now from the House of Villains cast? Yeah. And I was even going to say, like, that's so funny. And, like, Teresa is so funny. Like, I'm like, I can't actually stay mad at her. So her and I are in touch. Um, Safari and I talk. Me and Wes. Pamela and Candy, I chat with here or there. And then New York, of course, I talk with. I I just haven't kept in touch with, like, Jesse, Rich, and... Larsa and I were in touch after the show and then she did her disappearing act again. So I'm like, I don't know if she likes me or not. Like I reached out again. I don't, I don't know. Right. Same pattern, but yeah, I kept in touch with everyone because it is such a bonding experience. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's good. And last question. So New York came back for season two after appearing on season one. Would you have any desire to return in season three or any other season after if given the opportunity? Yeah, I would love to. I think I'm, I'd feel so lucky if I was given that opportunity. And I think it's such a fun show. Like I want to have more fun with it. Even when I came home, I'm like, I should have been crazier. Like it's just, of course, I would love to do it again. 